If we switch to the Dynamic tab, we will see a few options for creating dynamic bulletins. Some of these options are non-standard features of Carousel. The clock bulletin will display the current time in the form of an analog clock. Create your own clock in a photo editor, leaving out the hands, and bring it in as a JPEG. The only prerequisite is that it has to be centered horizontally and vertically. Carousel will insert the hands and animate them. Select the hand color, change the opacity, and adjust the duration. The rest is the same as creating a standard bulletin. To pull the current weather forecast, click on the weather bulletin and select the state and region. Your caption will display in the header of the bulletin. Outlook length is how many days of weather data to display. Hit continue. Carousel will use the following backgrounds based on the current conditions. So when it's raining, you will see the rain background. When it's sunny, you will see the sun background. To upload your own images, click on the Upload button and select each background for all the conditions. Then hit Continue. Click the Edit Template button if you need to make adjustments to the layout. Again, we will cover the template editor in another lesson. Click Continue, and like every other bulletin, the options from here on are the same. Cablecast customers will see the Cable Display Bulletin. This will automatically pull information from your Cablecast schedule. You can select a variety of bulletins. Coming up next, we'll display a single page bulletin announcing the next show. The Interrupt Bulletin is used as a standby graphic if the signal is lost for a show. When this bulletin is used, Carousel will display the graphic during the entire length of the show, so you can switch to the bulletin at any moment. The See It Again Bulletin appears after a show informing viewers of when they can see the show again. The Single Bulletin Schedule will display the upcoming shows. And Multiple Bulletin Schedule displays all shows programmed for the time period specified in the bulletin settings. Let's select Multiple Bulletin Schedule and hit Continue. Select the channel you want to display on this zone. You can create another multiple bulletin schedule to show another channel's programming as well. You can limit the amount of information by days or by bulletins. I'll say 7 days. Depending on the size of the zone, you will adjust the amount of show records to display on one page. You can also change the time and date format, then hit continue. You can change the background by selecting or uploading an image. Click on the Edit Template button to adjust the layout. Click Continue and Finish Up. The RSS Bulletin will take RSS feeds from your favorite news source. RSS stands for Real Simple Syndication and is used by news and media organizations to simply syndicate their stories in a standardized form. If you use web browsers like Firefox, Internet Explorer 7, and Safari, you will see an RSS logo indicating that the website contains RSS. Carousel acts as an RSS reader in a similar way the web browser does. Carousel will then render that information into a bulletin formatted by you. So first, let's find a source. I'll go to CNN.com. I see that it has RSS, so I'll click on that to subscribe. Then copy the RSS link, and then paste it into my RSS bulletin. From here, I can limit the amount of bulletins or items, which are stories. I can limit the amount of stories per bulletin. I can change the way in which Carousel sorts the stories. I can limit the amount of characters. I can adjust the timing of each bulletin. I can even exclude certain words from the list. Think of this part as stress relief. We'll hit continue and select our background and adjust the layout if need be. Then continue to finish up. The event schedule is a plugin that will display events from your scheduling software. You can use the built-in scheduler of Carousel or point to the database of your scheduling software. 
The supported third-party software includes Dean Evans EMS and Astra Scheduling. Select the method in which to sort, then continue. Select how many events to display and the formatting options. When there are no events scheduled, you can choose to display no bulletins or to display a bulletin that explains there are no events scheduled. Hit continue and edit the template, change the background, or just continue. Click more for more options or finish. We will cover the carousel event scheduler in another lesson. The live video feed will display video from an external source or a streaming video clip. If you have the TV input option, you can choose composite signal, S-video, TV antenna, or TV cable. If you select TV cable, enter the channel you'd like to tune into. Select URL for streaming video, then paste the URL of the streaming clip. You can select a standby graphic which will appear while the video loads up. By default, the standby graphic is a black background. Hit continue and finish up like any other bulletin.